What do you do when your tenants are fighting with each other? That's the topic of today's show. Let's dive in. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the Ask James Wise Show here on Holton Wise TV. I am your host, James Wise. That man behind the scenes is Tommy cutting up the footage for you guys. The Ask James Wise Show is all about education. That is your show, folks. This is a show where you guys ask me questions about real estate investing, property management, personal finance, everything in between. So if you're watching this, you got a question, go ahead, post it to the comments below. Today we're doing another very, very common question that we always get. What do you do when your tenants are fighting with each other? This is something that every landlord's going to have to deal with. It's incredibly common. They fight, right? This is just this is just what it is. Tenants fight. If you have multifamily properties, it's going to be even more prevalent, especially properties where tenants are living above or below each other. So a little pro tip for you. If you ever have the opportunity to buy a duplex and you see two duplexes where everything else is equal, but one duplex is a side-by-side -side and the other is an up-down, you want to buy that side-by-side -side duplex every single time because there isn't anybody living above or below each other. So the noise complaints, the complaints about the neighbors, they are going to be... They're still going to happen, but they're going to be much more infrequent than up-down duplexes. As a landlord, it's incredibly important that you know your role, okay? When you are a landlord, folks, you are not your tenant's sounding board. You are not your tenant's friend. You are not your tenant's therapist, their waiter, their waitress, or their babysitter. You are their landlord. You are their property manager. Your job is to provide them habitable housing in exchange for rental income. That's it. Nothing else. You need to contact them when the rent is due. You need to contact them when it's time to renew the lease. You need to contact them when they file a maintenance repair request with you. That is the extent of your relationship. You do not want to be the go-between between between two adult tenants who cannot get along. Now, I know some of you out there are thinking, well, you know, our lease, that we have to enforce the lease, and our lease says that the tenants have the right to quiet enjoyment. That is correct, and you should put that in your lease. Tenants do have the right to quiet enjoyment. But you see, you are not the law municipalities they have noise ordinances in place for a reason so if one of your tenants thinks the other tenant is violating that noise ordinance just direct them to call the police now i know some of you are also thinking well i don't really want the police showing up at my property i understand that thought process but guys there are laws. There are laws for a reason. You cannot get out of your direct role of being the landlord. I cannot stress this enough. Your job is to provide habitable housing in exchange for rental income. Do not try to do the police's job. Do not get involved in these disputes. If a tenant violates a local ordinance, the police will come in and handle it. And if police reports are filed and it is proven that one of those tenants is, in fact, violating the law, then your job as the landlord is to act and you can get involved and remove the party that is violating that law. But if you try to act prematurely, you're just going to get involved into two tenants who are pissed off at each other. You know, you're going to tell the one to be quiet. Then they're going to start complaining about the other. You can't really do anything here. You can't simply evict people because of hearsay. When you go into court, you can't just walk up in front of the judge or the magistrate and say, I want to evict this tenant because I think he's bothering my other tenant. That magistrate is going to laugh you out of the courtroom. These folks have rights you cannot violate their rights like that so in summary guys you got to put your foot down about what your role as a landlord is and what it is not so if you guys out there have any further questions about the property management industry tenant disputes more specific tenant disputes than this one i want to hear about them go ahead and drop those in the comments below as always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this 
is real estate investing made easy. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.